Today I will play tennis chess. How does that work? Well, just like in tennis, you have to cross the ball, in this case the pieces, to the other side. So something like this. Luck also has to cross the middle of the board and we continue until one of the two players cannot place a piece to the other side. So I will play a game against Stockfish. Of course, Stockfish is not aware of these rules, but I program it to play a random move which crosses the middle of the board. So let's see how this goes. We will play a tie break up to 7 and I will serve first. And for the first point I will go for this. Of course you can never take it back because that doesn't cross the middle of the board. Instead Stockfish goes for this move. Uh, let's see. Let's go for this one. I am not sure of course what is the best strategy. And Stockfish continues to copy me. Okay, let's take this queen. Stockfish moves the bishop here. Of course my queen is not hanging in this game. The problem is when you move a piece you can't move it again, so that's a problem. Uh, I don't know, let's go here. A nice cross court backhand with the bishop. There goes this bishop, but that's a mistake because now I can play check. And now Stockfish has to react to this check and therefore cannot place any of its pieces to my side of the board. So there goes the first point for me. Second point, now Stockfish has to serve and Stockfish starts with this move. Very interesting, you don't have to go all the way, you just have to cross the line. Um, but I have an idea, you know, I can just go like this, take this rook. Ah, Stockfish plays this move. I was hoping to get this check and get the point, but I can't. And this bishop cannot move, so I have to think of something else. And also, my bishop here cannot move, so I think I'm in trouble in this point. I don't know, let's go here. Although opening up my king is not the brightest of ideas. Let's see if Stockfish can punish this. Not yet, Stockfish plays this move. Let me see. Let's take this. We have this. Ah, big mistake. Check. 2-0 for me. Okay, third point. Uh, Stockfish has another serve and starts the point with this move. Now I should be able to trick Stockfish, let's go for this. And yeah, Stockfish plays this move and this is 3-0 for me. Now it's again my turn to serve. Now I will try this. And yeah, Stockfish plays this, which means that again, it's 4-0 for me. And at this point we have been informed that Stockfish has retired from this tiebreak due to a software injury. We wish Stockfish all the best going forward, but I get to celebrate this victory. I hope you enjoyed this tennis chess challenge. Yes, at the end it was very easy for me, but I think this should be a very fun variant to play with uh, another person maybe. You can also change the setup to be, I don't know, maybe more difficult to win a point. And yeah, that was the video. If you want to see more such crazy challenges like this one, please check this video here. But anyway, for today, that was it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.